Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at DIY hot tub insulation. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so with the cost of utilities set on a worldwide basis increasing, you know, so oil, electric, gas, we really need to keep the running costs of our hot tubs down. Now, I've talked a lot on this channel about things like air source heat pumps, which are a great way of doing it. However, the insulation that you can actually include in your hot tub can have a big effect or a big impact on the actual running cost. So in this video, we're gonna look at how we can insulate the, the different styles of building a hot tub. Now, before we get onto that, always a great point in my videos to say, please hit that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. Just gives me loads of motivation to make these videos. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to turn on notifications as well. That way you won't miss any of my videos. I put them out twice a week in long form, which is like this. And I put a whole bunch of shorts out there as well. So there's loads of content on hot tubs, plunge pools, that kind of thing. That's everything my channel focuses on. So please, please do subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first up, we have tub blocks. So if you're not familiar with tub blocks, tub blocks are the kits that I've put together and they are ICF forms. Now, ICF forms stand for insulated concrete forms and these are a great way of insulating your DIY hot tubs. Why? Because the insulation's already there. The insulation is part of the, the actual construction material. So normally with ICF blocks or insulated concrete forms, or in my case, tub blocks, they are made of expanded polystyrene and they are formed into large blocks. And you can see these behind me here. They fit together like we call it Lego for adults. It's really quick to put them together, but the main advantage not only of the speed of build with these kind of a block, it's the fact that they've got the insulation built in. So you don't need to worry about adding more into your walls because they're already insulated. They're insulated on both sides and then filled with concrete for the strength and rigidity. And it's a great way of quickly building a hot tub, but also building it with that insulation built into the walls itself. So that's insulated concrete forms. And of course, there's lots of different manufacturers out there. The tub blocks kits are the ones that I've put together and I'll put a link to those underneath this video. The next section is on block built hot tubs. So the DIY hot tub insulation for block built hot tubs, it really comes in two forms and there's two different ways that you can be building your, your block built tubs. The first is a cavity insulation. What do I mean by that? Well, it's, it's kind of like we do with our homes where we've got a, you know, a row of block, a gap, a row of block, and then in we've, we have some insulation. We do exactly the same when we're building our hot tubs. And you can see a picture behind me here, exactly how it works. So what we have is we've got the inner wall. We've then got the plumbing, which is fitted to that inner wall. Around that plumbing is PIR boards, so those insulation boards that you can get from uh, loads of different brands. You know, Celatex, for example, is just one of them. Uh, Thermalite is another. There's, there's lots of different brands that do these PIR boards and they're foil backed, they have a high density foam inside and they add insulation and they're used in construction of, of our homes as well. So you can put those inside of a cavity wall with your plumbing and then obviously you're gonna have a second row of block. Close it all off, make sure that it's nice and secure. Secure in terms of, you know, you're not gonna get rodents in there because that's one of the downsides of insulation is you're actually creating a nice area for them to nest. So you wanna avoid that. But having that insulation inside of your cavity is a, a really good way of insulating your block tubs. Now, if you're not doing a cavity with your block tub, the other way that you can actually insulate is as you can see behind me here, you can add those PIR boards to the outside of the tub. Now you can do that before you fit the plumbing so that they fit nice and flush against the wall itself. And then you can fit the plumbing, you know, you're coring a hole through the insulation, through the block into your tub, and that way you can fit your plumbing into or around the, the insulated block. So it's quite a 
a good way of doing it, it's an easy way of doing it, it's a really tidy way of doing it as well. And you can see the example behind me here. It does look pretty good, it is easy to do, but most of all, it does add R value or insulation to your block built hot tub. DIY hot tub insulation for concrete forms. That's the next section that we're gonna look at here. So if you're not using block, if you're not using tub blocks or ICF, then you're probably gonna be pouring your form. So you're gonna create a form out of wood. You're then gonna fit your plumbing. You're then gonna pour concrete into the form, kind of create a mold and you're gonna do it that way. Behind me here, you can see how you insulate with a poured form. So we've got the internal structural wall out of wood there, that's, that's part of the form, ready to go. We've got the plumbing in there, we've got the rebar in there, but most importantly, in terms of the DIY hot tub insulation, we've actually got that PIR board in there again, and that's sitting inside of the rebar, and then, as you can see on this video here, all of that is then formed up on the exterior and then filled full of concrete. So inside of that concrete wall, you have all of your plumbing, you have your rebar for strength, and you also have your insulation, which is gonna add the R value to your hot tub. So again, pretty simple to do, well worth adding if you are doing a poured form concrete hot tub. And finally, how do we insulate a DIY stock tank hot tub? Now, for those of you that are not familiar, a stock tank hot tub is normally made with a galvanized tub. That galvanized tub is a large animal feeder and it's really cool, really trendy to actually convert those into hot tubs. So how do we actually insulate them? Firstly, you can use the PIR board, but you can actually score it so that you can then wrap it round because it's obviously cylindrical, so that's certainly one option. The other option you can look at is uh, the, the actual wool insulation. Now the downside of that is if it's gonna get wet at all, so if you're not building a cabinet for your stock tank hot tub, then this really isn't a good option because once it absorbs the water, there's no R value there at all. So that has to be totally dry if you are gonna use the, the, the wool insulation that you can put around your plumbing directly onto that galvanized tank. Now, the most popular method of insulating your stock tank hot tub is with spray foam. Now, the spray foam, it comes in cans, you can pick it up in your local hardware stores, and it's really easy to use. It's also the same method that you'll find the manufacturers of the, the plastic shell hot tubs actually use. So when you open up a cabinet of plastic shell hot tub, underneath you will find a whole bunch of sprayed in foam. So we can use exactly the same method on a DIY stock tank hot tub. And for me, I think that that's the best option. It's easy to do, and also with it being cylindrical, you're gonna get a better uh, adhesion onto the, uh, the actual stock tank than you are if you're gonna use those PIR boards with, that are scored. So for me, stock tank hot tub, insulation, use the spray and foam, and that really is job done. And finally, one kind of bonus tip on this particular video is what about the poured concrete slab? for our hot tubs. So whether it's gonna to be to put your stock tank on, whether it's gonna to be to build your blocks, and generally there's a slab involved. And I often get asked the question, do you put insulation into the slab? Well, for me, I, I tend to say, no, it's not really worth it. And I'm also a little concerned that it might compromise some of the structural integrity of the actual pad itself. However, I have had some customers that have put the insulation underneath the, the type one or the, the crushed ballast that's then uh, whacked down to level. So you're actually putting insulation, then you've got your, your layer of, of bedrock, then you're gonna form up your base and then pour your concrete. So it's kind of, for me, I, I don't know, I just don't know if it, you're gonna get any real benefit from, from having that insulation solo down in the, the actual build process. It's up to you. Uh, I think jury's out on this one for me. Uh, if it were me, I wouldn't bother putting it in the slab. You know, heat rises, so I think you were gonna lose so much more through the walls, and you know, your cover obviously is really important for, for hot tub insulation. Uh, however, the base, uh, jury's out. You can make your own decision. I hope you found this video useful. As always, I really appreciate the view. Thanks for watching, and I will see you 
on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.